you get up in the morning and you make yourself a cup of coffee and you go and sit in front of your aquarium and wait for those lights to come on. But when they do come on, you're shocked at what you see. You're not looking at that beautiful aquatic scene that left you last night when the lights went out. Now you're looking at a murky, milky, horrible looking tank and the panic sets in. So what do you do? Hi, I'm Russ and today we're going to take a look at bacterial blooms and we're going to take a look at what is a bacterial bloom, what causes bacterial blooms and most importantly what you have to do to make sure that your tank clears up as soon as possible. But first of all we have to rule out a few things first because it's not just a bacterial bloom that can make your tank cloudy. So think about what's gone on with your aquarium over the past 48 hours. Have you added new substrate to an existing aquarium? Because those particles will cloud the water. And if that is what you've done, then your filtration will deal with that over the next few days. But just make sure you're cleaning your filter media every day until it is clear. Then you think, hmm, have I added any medication or additives? Because certain medication will cloud the water of your aquarium. Um, the thumbnail for this video, the cloudy aquarium is this, and I added some API AccuClear because that clouds your water when you first put it in and then clears your water. I just put that in so I could take a photograph for the thumbnail. But have you added any medication that could make your aquarium cloudy? Is it an algae bloom? An algae bloom the water will be more green than that milky aquarium that you're looking at now. So if it's an algae bloom, that's an imbalance of light, nutrients and carbon dioxide. Maybe that's another video to come in the future. So once you've ruled out that, then you are looking at a bacterial bloom. But what is a bacterial bloom? Well, it's a rapid reproduction of suspended heterotrophic bacteria that occurs because of a sudden buildup or increase of organic matter. So as that beneficial bacteria builds up to consume the ammonia being produced by the waste, it will be visible in your water column and that is what makes it appear cloudy. So what can cause a bacterial bloom? Well, they usually appear or occur on new setups, tanks that haven't gone through the nitrogen cycle yet, tanks that are a few weeks old. But it can occur on new, on established aquariums too. And what it is, it's a build-up of organic matter that's going off in your water. So there may be a dead fish, shrimp somewhere it could be a dead snail somewhere it could be leaves that are rotting that are causing this imbalance in the water and i'm afraid to tell you this but a bacterial bloom can last for a couple of weeks so are they dangerous well what it is as the heterotrophic bacteria bloom in the water column as that switches to its aerobic state it can and will use a lot of the oxygen in your water. It'll deplete the oxygen in your water. So if you've got fish in there and they're gasping at the surface, then yes, they can be dangerous. But the heterotrophic bacteria itself isn't dangerous. It has no effect to your fish whatsoever. So, what do we do when we have a bacterial bloom? Well, make sure you always have a decent water testing kit and test your water daily while you've got this bacterial bloom. And if you test positive or your test is high for ammonia, then products like C Chem Prime will, will detoxify the ammonia and make it safe. If your fish are at the surface, gasping for air, then you're gonna have to do a water change to get some oxygen in the water. Maybe drop the level so 
your filtration systems adding more air to the water while the bacterial bloom's going. But if your fish aren't gasping at the surface for air, then do nothing. Do absolutely nothing. Because if you do a water change, that's going to delay how long the bacterial bloom's going to last because you're knocking... The tank has to reset itself. And when you do a water change, you're going to knock that out of sink again. So bacterial bloom, do absolutely nothing. Just let it ride out. And before you know it, your tank will be clear again. And you're back looking at that beautiful aquatic scene that left you a couple of weeks ago. I do also post exclusive videos on the Facebook group Fish Keeping in the UK. So if you're not a member, you should pop over to the group. It's friendly and it's a really good place to be. It is where I got the inspiration to do this video today. But it's also given the inspiration to do videos on other things. Things like when you have algae in your tank is there anything you can do to keep algae at a minimum and there is there's certain fish out there that will eat algae and if you want to know what those fish are then watch this video next